everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play and it is episode 29 and the last video we went through a really huge enchanting session and it went amazing and we got a really decent armor to fight the ender dragon and we also got some good enchantments on the tools. So in this episode what we're going to be doing is doing a little bit of brewing and we will be getting some uh, strength potions and regeneration potions and that would help out in the fight so we're going to be actually defeating the dragon in this episode so let's go okay so this is my brewing setup currently and uh, uh, we have blaze power for the fuel so we have all of that so what I'm going to be doing is firstly getting some uh, nether wart and I haven't actually made a farm of nether wart so I might have to do that Unfortunately, I cannot locate any nether wart, which means that I will have to go on a little bit of a hunt to get some of those and I will also get some soul sand. So we are here in the nether at the nether fortress and I, am, I might as well, as well just bring some more blaze, blaze rods so we can fuel the brewing stands. So now we're going to be going into the fortress and I'm going to be trying to find some nether wart. Alright, so I have located all these nether wards, so what I'm going to do is just gather all of this up and uh, I might as well actually leave some for backup just in case I die or lose these somehow, I don't know how, but uh, I'm just going to leave some of these here which is going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be best if we have some of these for backup. So because I don't have any space uh, outside or anywhere, I'm going to be using this cave as the farm for my nether wart. And uh, what I'm going to do is just add tons of this uh, nether wart and uh, hope that it grows fast. And uh, I don't really know if light affects the growing of this thing, but uh, I'm just going to be adding some anyway. So yeah. Okay, so here it is. Our nether wart farm is in place and we have added tons of torches so it will grow fast now what I was thinking is as it is growing I'm going to be terraforming this whole cave so it looks a little bit better it's just a short project I'm just going to be completing it off in like 15 minutes so let's see how this turns out alright so this is the progress over here and uh, what I was thinking is I will use some uh, mossy and some cracked stone brick and that will give me a little bit more texture to work with and I could make it work very nicely so what I'm gonna do is go to the forest and get some of the vines and let's make some of these uh, mossy stone bricks okay so I went to the forest but I actually forgot to bring shears so what I'm gonna do is rather than going to the house what I'm going to do is go to the iron farm and get some fresh iron from there and we can then craft some shears. So here it is and this is actually working very nice. This is producing a lot of iron. Just just, just multiply this by 4 and you will get the actual amount of uh, iron that we have on this world. Which is uh, pretty good considering it took... Uh, really a short period of time to build this and it, was, it wasn't it was that hard so yeah we're getting some good amount of resources okay so I've gotten all the vines that we will need and now I'm heading back to the house and uh, let's finish off this terraforming alright so this is the progress that I have done this is a little bit plain I will fix that later but uh, this is what it's going to be here it is going to be grass and I will also have some long grass over here to make it look like uh, it's overgrown and this is kind of like a broken down place and uh, I've used all of these locks uh, the stone break and the gray and it's looking pretty good and uh, this pillar I will have to just uh, touch tweak it up but uh, for now I'm going to be taking a break from that I'm going to be now doing some actual uh, brewing so now we can actually get started with some potions alright guys so a lot has happened since the last cut I have all done all the walls of this place and the roof and I have done the back of these brewing stands and uh, I have removed all the torches uh, actually more most of the torches and I have replaced them with jack o lanterns so 
now we don't have all those torches sticking out and we have lightning so this is how the farm looks it is looking pretty good and i've added some vines and leaves to make it like uh, overgrown and some jack-o-lanterns behind the leaves look pretty good i have to turn that one facing that way but uh, all the other things are looking good and the grass is grown everywhere and uh, i have added two more pillars and uh, all this leaves are looking pretty good and i have done some more progress over here so i will have to go and uh, do this whole cave i think i i think i'm going to be patching this part up and this might be the end of this place so i have I have, have some more terraforming to do but uh, for the time being it's looking pretty good so now what i have done is uh, also brewed all out of these potions so now we are uh, quite ready for the fight but uh, before that i will actually need to collect some more glass to make bottles for the uh, dragon bed so we can take in the dragon bed so it doesn't harm us so what, what i'm gonna do is go and get those and i'm also going to be going and getting some regeneration potions so what i'm gonna have to do is go to the nether and fight off some gas and uh, find some gas tears all right guys so i have found all the uh, gas tears and i have brewed a lot of potions so we almost got a full chest of regen regeneration two potions and uh, i had to use some of those because i was invaded by a bunch of zombies so yeah those are gone but uh, we also have some ghost tears so uh, i was saving those ghost tears so we can actually recreate some of the ender crystals and uh, we can uh, fight the dragon again so i will have uh, more uh, practice or i don't know i just want two eggs so yeah that's going to be helpful as well and uh, now we should probably brew some other potions so what I was thinking is uh, I would brew some night vision potions because uh, I might need night vision there. I don't really know if that helps. So I'm going to have to check that and before I brew those. Yep, it definitely does help because now I can see like every tower and the dragon. So yeah, we're going to be getting some of those. For the night vision potions, we will need some carrots. So I'm just going to go over here and get some of these. I still don't have an uh, automatic carrot farm. And I don't really think that I'm going to be getting one because it's it's not it's not so helpful and uh, the amount of time it takes and the work it takes I don't really think that I can match that so let's go over here and uh, we will go and get some of these gold nuggets are these gold nuggets or ingots I don't yeah okay so gold nuggets will do. Okay, so the night vision potions are in their place. Now what we need to do is get some glass, and uh, I'm going to be making a three to three stacks of uh, uh, bar bottles to store all the dragon bread that we're gonna get. So I think this is going to be enough because uh, we can spawn the dragon again. 
so you can get more but uh, yeah I just don't want to miss out on those the breaths so what I'm gonna do is just store this and there it is we are completely geared up and we are ready to fight the dragon Alright guys, so we're running out of time, so I'm going to end this episode right over here. We did not have the time to kill the dragon in this episode, but that will be definitely happening in the next episode. So, that was the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.